Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pause for Payments. I am Christy Duncan, and I'm really excited to have with me today Claudia Reyes Armabianchi, who's General Manager, Peru, and Regional Country Director for Colombia, Ecuador, and Bolivia at Western Union. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you, Christy. It's a pleasure to be with you today. We're delighted to have you. So today we're going to explore the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on the remittance business around the world. And more importantly, the underlying changes in people's lives that are driving these changes to the business. I'm really excited about this discussion and Claudia is the perfect person to have it. So let's get started. Okay. Claudia, you've been working in this industry for many years now and you've seen the market evolve in many different ways. Can you share in particular how you've seen the remittance market change in Latin America? Of course. Well, the evolution of remittance during 2020 revolved around the decision due to the strong impact of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, as Western Union's uh, global income from digital money transfer and the business of digital associations increased by 38% compared to revenue in, 90, uh, in, in 2019, and is expected to grow further in this year. Remittances have shown a great amount of resiliency. Western Union delivered impressive results and showed the potential we see as the foundation for an ecosystem of consumers. This is the fourth consecutive quarter of transaction growth of 50% or more, and an average monthly growth of active user of more than 40%. Good outcome lead money transfer peers in mobile app double loans by a wide margin agreed 78% from an already large base, large base uh, which we believe is uh, well ahead of the market. In the first quarter, of 2021, online shipments represent 23% of our consumer revenue. Therefore, we can highlight a greater impact on the general growth trajectory of the company. However, despite the growing success of the digital business, Western Union continued, continues to optimize the retail network, which is improved again in the first quarter of the year. Transactions reflect a good growth rate better than in the fourth quarter of the previous year. Therefore, we should continue to earn more income as the year progresses. Wow, that's incredible growth. Um, thank you for sharing that. It's really interesting because even though, you know, many things and many people have lost jobs and, and been impacted personally through this pandemic, but it's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic to see that uh, the, the transaction growth and remittances in particular uh, continues to grow. So you know this business way better than I do and perhaps better than most of our audience. Can you talk to us a little bit about remittances and what purposes do they serve? Why do people choose to use remittances? Okay, well, uh, from my perspective, uh, international person-to-person -person transfer or remittance sent by global citizens to their home uh, countries represent the largest external economic support structure for developing economies. According to the latest software economics uh, report commissioned by Western Union, remittance have contributed to mitigating the economic impact of the pandemic by increasing the resilience of developing countries throughout 2020 and becoming a possible lifeline for the recovery in 2021 and the next years. Thus, uh, the remittance effect generates profound benefit for developing economies, such as a poverty reduction and increased economy activity. In addition to being in, in giants of growth, person-to-person -person transfer improve connectivity uh, by connecting people from all over the world in ways that contribute to interstate economic, social, and political interdependence, even as a government closed borders. In the particular case generated by COVID-19 crisis, made people more determined to help their loved ones. When times are tough in developing economies, remittance center become frontline workers for economic security. Wow, that's so interesting. It ends up being this whole geopolitical um, indicator, if you will, more than just you know people making payments to, to their loved ones across borders. So interesting. 
So we've got this, you know, expanding transaction volumes driven by the pandemic and other things. And surely there's been, you know, impacts to your business. Can you talk a little bit about the service issues that, that you've experienced and, and how you support your customers in this really difficult time? Yes, well, yes. Uh, West, Western Union has been dedicated uh, from 170 years to connecting people with their families and loved ones around the world, anytime, anywhere, and today continues to do so through one of the largest global financial networks that move 100 ferry currency electronically around the world in minutes. Our omnichannel platform connects the digital world with the physical and enable customers and businesses to send and receive money and make payments quickly, easy, and ready. As of the end of September 2020, the Western Union Network includes more than 550 retail agent locations, offering corporate service in more than 200 countries and territories, with the ability to send money to billions of accounts. Wow, fantastic. So you've got this incredible global network. And I remember reading somewhere a long time ago, and it's probably still true, that Western Union has more endpoints to send money than any other player in the world, which is you know, the biggest network for payments around the world. It's fantastic. How has this pandemic impacted your business? What changes have you seen? What, what have you had to deal with in, in the business in the last 12 to 18 months? Well, uh, the pandemic has accelerated digital transformation around the world in different economic sectors, including the financial one. In this regard, Western Union conducted a survey of Hispanic consumer in, in nine cities in the United States to better understand the impact of COVID-19 on digital money transfer trends among Latin American uh, consumers, within which it was found that almost 50% of the respondents migrated to digital platforms due to the circumstances that include the temporary closure of some Asian location, retail Asian location, or the need to stay at home. Uh, Western Union centers for their part quickly realized the benefits of using online money transfer solution from home. Uh, convenience and health and safety consideration are among the top benefits, while other considerations include sending money through a, a, a trusted provider, paying lower fees, or getting a better exchange rate. So fantastic. Well, um, really, really interesting insights here, Claudia. Thanks for sharing. Um, when you look at this, you know, clearly the customers have been impacted, which has impacted your business. How has your business been able to adapt to this new normal, if you will? Yes, well, what was an important challenge for us? Uh, Western Union knows that when it comes to moving money, customers' needs are constantly evolving which is why it has implemented new services, such as, for example, in Colombia, uh, the service of receiving money orders directly in the Tepaga virtual wallets was launched, uh, an app that allows making payments, purchase, withdrawals, and transfer from the cell phone. With this alliance, users were able to receive money, uh, orders from Western Union that span more than 200 countries and territories. Uh, together with uh, their master agent, Acciones y Valores, and Heroes y Finanzas, they provide home delivery service for Western Union money transfer in select areas in Bogota, Cali, Medellin, and Barranquilla. A digital a service in which the client initiates the transaction on Good.com website or in the app and complete it without having to go to a physical agency. For, the, for this, you can, or for this way, you can make use of payment methods such as a credit card, debit card, or, or, a, 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 or use of an account. Another service that we have is the, we call it ABNT, that means account-based money transfer, allows bank account holders to access Western Union through their online banking. Western Union person-to-person -person transfer can be done 24 seven in minutes, and you can send or receive money for this way. Awesome, I wish my bank would let me do that. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and really, do you really have home delivery service? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 in this case, uh, we have a, a specific process to 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 uh, uh, get the, the customer's information with all security uh, in terms of transaction and physical security. Also, that's why our master agents in in this country, in Colombia, were a lot to guarantee a, a, a great customer experience. But yeah, the customer can receive their money in their home. Wow, another great service. Boy, I thought delivering wine to my house was fantastic, but delivering <laughs> cash to my house would be even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We try to solve in, in all um, alternatives. I think that as a company, we have to offer to the customer the most alternative as possible to guarantee a, a, a great experience in terms of safety and, and, and customer experience too. Well, I think that whole concept of offering customers choice is really, really important because, you know, not all customers are the same and you've got, you know, millions of customers around the world and they're all going to have very different needs and be at different stages of their lives and different um, markets to, you know, some that, you know, really want the cash, other that want the, the money in their bank account or in their cell phone account or what have you. So e-wallets, uh, all, all alternatives that we can get to our customers. That is the mission in this case. I love it. That's great innovation. That's fantastic. So have you seen the pace of innovation change in the last 18 months? Yeah, yeah. I think that... Uh, for example, uh, my experience to lead an operation in times in times of pandemic, we we stand COVID nineteen better. I think that many companies in twenty twenty, due to our resilient fundamentals and the first time behind uh, our little digital uh, business that prepare us for an accelerating demand for digital services. Uh, when the pandemic occurred. Uh, we have the strategy in place to cope uh, with the changing conditions, convenience, reliability, and, and the spirit at, are critical to a good customer payments experience, making for a high quality network. Uh, on the digital side, we can reach billions of account today, uh, but we are expanding access to more account uh, with new partnerships. Customer increasingly value speed, and we already have one of the broadest cross-border real-time payment networks in the industry. Therefore, the focus this year is to make it more robust by adding additional uh, direct relationships with third parties and uh, multiple partners in the markets. Uh, our retail distribution will continue to benefit from continuous agent optimization, improving agent caliber, um, and filling distribution gaps. Well, really, really interesting business, Claudia. It sounds like it keeps you busy and engaged day to day. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about your experience as a leader in this fascinating industry. Can you talk about you know what it's been like to lead an operation during the middle of a pandemic and and what you think that the key requirements or elements of leadership should be when you're leading in in a pandemic? Well, um, a good leader must have the ability to clearly and accurately communicate the company's mission, vision, uh, values, roles, and goals so that everyone can align their world, work with the global and individual world's uh, goals. When mergers incorporate a new combination of technologies, a new ownership and or new structure, it's, uh, it's when synergies become increasingly difficult to achieve unless there is a clear mission and the appropriate uh, leadership for this type of situation like the pandemic. I think that uh, a key element here is the communication also. Yeah, well, communication is always key for sure. Once you get that <laughs> right, then, then hopefully the rest falls into place. Yeah, the communication with all parts involved, 
customers, uh, 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 our collaborators, our vendors, uh, all change is important to be uh, keep this kind of communication, direct communication with us. And as a company, we try to do that constantly. Yeah, so both internal and external communication, yes. of course. Yes. That Excellent. Is so this has been a fantastic discussion, Claudia. Thank you so much. I'd like to close with a question that I ask all of our pause or payments guests, and that mm -hmm. is a career question. And that is, if you were giving advice to the rising stars in our audience about you know, key things that have guided you for your career, things that you might've learned throughout your career, what advice would that be? Well, uh, I wanna talk about my particular uh, experience or, or perspective in this case. I think that is maybe the most important thing in your career is um, to do something that you believe. For me, it's really important to work in a company with a, a greatest purpose. Uh, for me, uh, we are the bridge between our customers and their happiness. So for me, this is a and an, an really an important purpose. So my goals, uh, my targets, uh, my strategies are aligned with that greatest purpose. So for me, it's really important because it inspired me, inspired to, to be a better any way to continue in this, in this fantastic world. Uh, I'm thinking all the time, okay, uh, how can I do more for our customers, for our company, for our mission? So I, I think that as a, a, as a professional, it's, it's important to be connected with, with, with your purpose and the company purpose, of course. Um, I think that it's important the networking also because uh, in my case, uh, I, I, I have a lot of information from this kind of interaction. When I have the opportunity to speak, in this case, with customer vendors, with, with people in company, but also with people in another companies. And that's why I think that Women in Payment has a fantastic role here because it gives you the opportunity to connect with, in this case, other women in this industry and you can share experience and and well I, I I particularly like to observe everything and what is happening around me and and when I have this kind of opportunity I, I, and I hear experience from the people from the other company a great professionals in, in our region try to share with us experience experience or, or maybe thoughts, uh, a reflection about some uh, situation, it's, it's a extraordinary opportunity to grow. I think that the networking, this kind of interaction are, are key for, for your role as professional in this new world. Wow, well, thanks for that. It's, it's nice to get some support for what we're trying to accomplish with women in payments in the markets around the world. And that is, I think, one of the biggest, biggest attributes is we've now built the, the largest network of women in the global payments ecosystem and the opportunity to connect across, you know, across each of our markets, but across to different markets and learn from other markets, learn from women who are doing fantastically exciting things in different parts of the industry, as well as different geographic areas is, uh, you know, a huge opportunity for learning as well as just supporting each other, you know, like, oh my gosh, I had such a terrible day. There were so many COVID problems, you know, how do, how do you manage those? And here's what I've learned. And that kind of support is invaluable. So Thanks for your, your thoughts no, on that, Claudia. No, I, I, and thank you so much, uh, Christine, for, for creating this kind of platform to connect us. I think that is a, an extraordinary work. Well, we have fun at Women in Payments and we get our inspiration from your support and engagement. So thank you for, for being a big part of that. Claudia, this has been an absolutely insightful discussion. I've learned so much. I can't believe how your business has grown and how you've really built and reinforced the resiliency of the remittance business, which is so important for 
millions of people around the world to, you know, send money back to loved ones to support their families and their friends. Um, and also to support emerging economies. It's really interesting, this whole migrant worker concept and, and how it contributes to the economies of some of these new, you know, emerging economies. Your global reach is unsurpassed, 130 currencies. I didn't know there were that many currencies <laughs> in the world in 200 countries, like just absolutely phenomenal. I love how you've really pivoted and, and built so much new business and new opportunities throughout the pandemic to better serve your market and to um, build on partnerships, to deliver new benefits to, to clients around the world. It's just fantastic. But on the, on the career side, you've also had some, shared some fantastic insights, you know, your communication, be it internal or external com communicating your mission, your vision for the company, either with your employees or your shareholders or your clients, of course, that's really, really key. And of course, having that career with purpose, you know, how do we get up every morning if we don't have purpose and our jobs can give us a lot of that. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you for your thoughts on networking. It's uh, oh, you know, pleasure. always something. Thank you so much for this space, for this time. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a delight, and I hope our audience has enjoyed our discussion, and I hope they tune in for other Pause for Payments discussions where we talk to amazing women from around the world of payments like Claudia. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Mm -hmm.